in the semifinals when he did that. They gave him a 49-8, so the scoring is not that far off. How about that for that same move? That's exactly right. And, you know, he made that look so easy. It was hard for the crowd to even get into it. I mean, they make these dunks look so easy. That is a spectacular dunk. These guys are so good, Yubi. It just looks like, well, it's just another, another simple dunk. Here is Blue Edwards. A couple of dribbles and a behind-the-head jam, which doesn't impress as much as Kenny says. That'll, that'll sure. be about a 44 or 45. May I point out, by the way, when we say, or when I say, and I'm sure it's you fellows here, not that impressive. We're talking relative well, to he's these He's going to bring dunkers. it down and then up and over. Uh, like, like we say, sometimes the fans do not appreciate finesse. They want the thunder and the power of the grab and the slam through. Blue Edwards is up next. Oh. Yeah, Yubi, I would have to think the strategy in this competition, obviously I'm not a dunker, but I would have to think that you would have to bring out the best dunk you have as your second dunk yes. to try to right. get you into the next round. Absolutely. Because uh, Blue's first is a 40.1. He really needs a, a massive dunk. Good race socks from the yeah, crowd. That, that's hard to do. At East Carolina, in, in a team competition, Blue Edwards shattered the backboard there, said he won the contest because he was leading at the time he broke the backboard. You know what, though? When you look at Blue Edwards, he's a very low-key player, okay? And as a result, he doesn't bring a lot of flair to it. You see this dunk. He does a lot of things. There's the pump. But, but he doesn't have a lot of flair. He's very low-key. And, and as a result, I don't think he's going to get high marks for what was a very good dunk and did not have. Remember, he had only 40.1 on his first dunk, so he's going to need a lot here. Probably not enough. 44.2 to score for Blue Edwards.